hello, my name is Sunday Special. I would love to be adopted. If you do adopt me, I hope I will brighten up your Sundays like the sun. You'll be my Sunday Special and I hope I'll be yours. They uh, cheer with excitement when they see that their animal has gone home. Yeah. Knew I needed to teach persuasive writing to my second graders. The idea came to me that I could connect their persuasive writing paragraphs with something real in the community. I reached out to Christy Peters at Richmond Animal Care and Control. I printed off pictures from the shelter's website with each dog's name, and I told them about the dog. I told them a little bit about their temperament, if they needed to be the only animal in the home, and they drew pictures of their dog. Then they wrote stories about their dog through the eyes of the animal. They did an exceptional job with it. I'm very proud of them. You know, children write the best anyway because they, they have no filter. They're honest and kind, and it just comes from such a sweet spot. Reading their stories, you know, and looking at that sweet dog in the cage, I think just speaks volumes to moving on the emotional side of things. We then took the papers down to Richmond Animal Care and Control, hung them up um, on their kennels, and people were able to come and see the um, papers hanging with the dogs, and it was successful. Many of the dogs uh, were adopted. I think eight or nine went home within that first weekend. The children read about 24 dogs. 20 of them have gone to their forever homes. I would love for other teachers across the nation to do this locally with their communities to really make a difference in these dogs that may be a little harder to find their forever home. For my students, it showed them that they can make a true difference in their community and that their voice is heard.